the side to the roof. It has been a few months. I I haven't done any of my science projects because I was busy with my school and chess tournaments. How was your school year? Now summer vacation begins. I am so excited. Today is the first day of summer hall of my summer holidays. Here we have here we have here our summer holiday is on June, July, and August. I have planned a lot of activities, science experiments, visiting a few places. So let's kick off the summer with some easy and fun experiments, and stay tuned for more of them. In this experiment, we are going to make growing marbles. How does marbles grow? Yeah, marbles grow by absorbing the water. So for this experiment, you'll need a cup, scissors, a pack of marble pebbles, and some water. First, you cut the pack of marble pebbles. Then you pour them into the cup. Change the packs up. Okay, let's put these all in the cup. The first step is to pour marble pebbles into the cup. You already did that. You have to pour water into the cup. And one more thing. You have to pour it till it's full. Next, next, you have to wait for two minutes. And then slowly by slowly, the marbles will absorb all the water and grow bigger. Once we put the pebbles in, it it was it was at the bottom of the glass. Now since it's growing, all the pebbles are like at half of the glass. Wow! Look at that! Like I mean, it's almost full because this is unbelievable. Like look at this. Like there's only less than a quarter of water in the top. Like after four minutes, this is what happened. Like look at that. This is unbelievable. Like, yeah, like, so now, since it's ready, we'll put on this paper napkin and, it, and they're ready to play with it. These marbles are coated with polymer, which, 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 when the water is in contact with them, they just absorb it from the outside to the inside, causing, causing it to grow bigger and expand. Experiment is amazing sand. Like so, in this experiment, we will explore how you can mold stuff with sand underwater, and when you take the sand above the water, it becomes dry immediately. So, for this experiment, you need a cup, a amazing sand pack, and a scissors. Okay, so here you can cut it. So you cut the amazing sand pack with the scissors. Then you then you fill the cup with water. I mean, you you don't have to fill it full like the last experiment. You just have to fill it like a half glass. So there, and we pour the amazing sand in it. As you see. Ooh, look how the sand looks underwater. Now you can actually try to mold stuff. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like this is no normal sand. You can mold stuff and look. It just it is so cool, right? Okay, so now we're gonna try another color, green. Maybe a carrot. So we're supposed to cut the pack again and pour it into that water. Okay. 
And also look at this shape it forms when you when you like put it under water. Yeah, just look at the shape it forms. See, look at that shape. Normal sand doesn't make that. That's why this is amazing sand. Yeah, like yeah, like that's the shape to me looks like a snake. Yeah, maybe a volcano under there. Yeah, draw a volcano. That'd be pretty cool. If there Let's take it out of water and see. Oh, see, all the sand is good, but it's still dry. So, because normally when you mold something, you want to keep it out of the water and mold it with your hands. You don't want to put it in the water because then it wash away. But this is like the complete opposite of that. playing with our sand we are going to pour the water in this cup and save the sand for later and you can also play with it because it is summertime and and summertime means 90 days of no school so we're just gonna okay so all the water is gone but the basic sand is still there and that's what we want for yeah yeah look at that no it is basically dry sand say we get to play later and the sand is coated with hydrophobic which which makes it water repellent it makes grains of sand stick to each other which makes them water repellent and dry do another experiment but this time you're gonna guess you're gonna try to guess what the experiment is once i show you it so for this experiment you'll need a you'll need a cup vinegar and some chalk so first you put the chalk in the vinegar and see what happens See all these bubbles? They're just like rising up from the chalk. I bet you can! It's chalk and vinegar! Yeah, so the vinegar is acetic acid, and, and when it's chalk and vinegar meet, and they react, which forms carbon dioxide, and then, yeah, this is what happens. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Can you hear that sizzling sound? That's the carbon dioxide rising in there. How do you see the experiment? Because you might have vinegar in your kitchen and you might have chalk, like for running in sidewalks and boards. So you can easily try this experiment. Our next experiment is called Mega Snow. Because we live in one of the coldest places and we get a lot of snow uh, in, in, in the winter. But in the summer, if you still want to play with the snow, this experiment can help you. This experiment, you need a cup with water in it, a spoon, a scissors, and snow powder. So first, you cut the snow powder with the scissors. By the way, this is going to be cool. Get ready to see snow, right? Isn't it so exciting, Eva? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so exciting. So, then we pour the snow powder in the water. Actually, only a teaspoon of snow powder, like only a spoon. First, only a spoon. Yeah. And see? Snow! You see that snow? Yeah. I want to play with it. Yeah. You actually feel like playing with it now. Yeah. Like snow, like... Watch this. See? It actually feels like snow to me. And to me. Yeah, look at this. It's so squishy like snow. And look, we don't even feel cold a bit, right, Ava? Yeah. So let's take... Yeah, we can like... Do you like
to know how this is happening? Well, here's the science behind this. The snow expands thanks to water absorbing polymers. Water absorbing polymers absorb solutions through hydrogen bonding with water molecules. Didn't you like these experiments? Because because once you get used to it, they're really fun. And do try it at home because they're really fun. And please subscribe to my channel and and press the like button and the thumbs up.